Hey everyone, I'm Olivia Flanagan, your gender affirming voice teacher, and today I'm going to talk about falsetto. I'm going to talk about how your vocal folds work to create its unique sound, and I'm also going to talk about how it applies to you as you work on vocal feminization. First, let's talk about how our vocal sound is produced. Our vocal folds are two bands of tissue that vibrate together as air passes through them. The buzz that's created by that vibration is filtered through our vocal tract which is all the space that the sound travels through before leaving your mouth. Depending on how high or low you're speaking or singing, your vocal folds are lengthened and shortened, and they vibrate together in different positions. These different positions and different vibratory patterns create unique and recognizable sound qualities within pitch ranges that we call registers. There are four registers of the voice. The highest is the whistle register, Next is falsetto, sometimes referred to as the head voice. Next is the modal register, also sometimes referred to as the chest voice. And the lowest is vocal fry, which sounds like this. Uh... The modal register is where we typically speak. And in this register, the entire vocal fold or the vocalis muscle is engaged in vibration as air passes through. In the falsetto register, however, the, the vocal folds are lengthened, the vocal fold is mostly relaxed, and just the edges of the vocal folds are vibrating together. Because your vocal folds are changing shape and the way they're vibrating, it's really common to feel a flip or a click in your voice as you change registers. You might even feel a feeling of relaxation when you move into falsetto, which would make sense because the vocalis muscle is actually relaxing. We call this spot in your voice where, where things shift, the break. In falsetto, your tone quality is going to be more hollow, flute-like, breathy, whereas in the modal register, you'll feel stronger, more comfortable, and you may feel more sympathetic vibrations in your chest. All people, no matter what sex they were assigned at birth, have a falsetto register. However, people who were assigned male at birth and have gone through a testosterone puberty will notice a little bit more of a difference in their tone quality between the modal and the falsetto register than somebody who was assigned female at birth. So for example, I'm a cisgender woman and I have been speaking in my modal register throughout this video, but if I go up into my falsetto, it'll sound something like this, very breathy and not very powerful. So what does this mean for vocal feminization? If you are working on raising your pitch, you'll find a spot where your voice flips up into this falsetto register. This happens at different pitches for different people, but in general, if you were assigned male at birth, it'll happen somewhere around a C4. Because most people speak in the modal register, the falsetto sound quality can make your voice stick out and can be perceived as unnatural sounding. Your volume can also be limited in this register and with so much air escaping through the vocal folds, resulting in that really breathy sound quality, it can make your voice feel harder to sustain. For these reasons, I think it's best to stay in the modal register as you work on vocal feminization. By moving your pitch up to a feminine perceived pitch range, which starts around an F3, and working on other elements of vocal feminization like vocal weight, articulation, resonance, inflection, you can get a very feminine perceived voice without feeling like you need to raise your pitch so high that you flip up into your falsetto register. I hope this video was helpful for you as you explore the different registers of your voice. Let me know how it's going for you down in the comments and also let me know if there are other topics that you'd like me to cover in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.